I think it is important for beekeepers to get stung, um, for beekeeper spouses and children to get stung. Um, now, according to the to what I've read, now this I don't have it exactly right. You'll have to go to your allergist to talk to talk about it to get to get the exact science, but. There's two kinds of immune cells in your body, E cells and T cells. Being stung by bees, I believe, encourages the formation of T cells. And that fights off the uh, allergen and, and your body is, that's the proper way to react. When you get exposed to bee venom and bee proteins just from handling bees, but you don't get stung, or you're, a, you're um, the, a spouse of a beekeeper who washes the clothes of the beekeeper, getting, getting exposed to venom and bee, bee proteins without being stung, or you're a child of a beekeeper, for instance, my children, I always pick them up in my bee truck wearing my bee clothes from, from daycare for years. Um, the child is getting exposed to bee venom without ever being stung, and so they that person builds up E cells and when they get stung they have an anaphylactic reaction. Properly you should all you should either not get exposed at all to B proteins and B venom without being stung. So I know people that beekeepers that have a washing machine in the honey house and only the beekeeper handles the beekeeper's clothing. Or if you're the spouse doing it, you need to get stung once in a while. And I, I think that it's once every, uh, once a month is probably enough. Um, but, you know, according to my uh, allergist, when, when my, our daughter got stung one night, um, I was helping her with her homework, and a bee must have been in my clothing, stung her on her calf. And you know, she cried a little and she went to the bathroom and when she came back out of the bathroom, she says, Dad, my nose is getting stuffy. And I looked at her leg and she had a red spot on her leg in 10 minutes that was this big. And 10 minutes later, she was cherry red from her, from her toes to her tops of her ears. Dad, I'm having trouble breathing. And well, luckily we live five miles from the hospital. And so away we went to the hospital and they gave her epinephrine and Benadryl and something else. And when we took her to uh, the allergist to, uh, to talk about uh, venom therapy, um, he told me that in the general population, uh, about one in 100 to 200 people are allergic to bee venom. But in commercial bee families, it's one in 10. Every commercial bee family I know has somebody in that family that's allergic to bee venom. And I believe that's why, because they were exposed to bee venom without being stung.